Rebecca, I didn't. They're getting ready already. But it, I didn't know where hey, to start. Hey, can you close the door? I didn't. I can use some lipstick. Oh. Okay. Five, four, three. You want to start? Hold on. My pants up. Two, two one, one. Everybody, Yay. to this week's edition of Wednesday Wrap Up, I'm Margaret Gordon. I am Rebecca's daughter, Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's people that don't know us that don't know I really am Sylvia Gordon since I love to start the thing going, I'm Rebecca Gordon, but I'm really Sylvia Gordon. You guys might want to put that on the screen sometime because everybody's calling me Rebecca now. So, which is fine because they always did that anyway, but whatever. Okay, so I wanted to briefly talk about short-term health insurance plans because last week the U.S. House Committee on Energy and Commerce launched an investigation into 12 health insurers, including Anthem and United Health Group, over the sale of short-term health plans. They termed short-term plans quote-unquote junk. The committee said it was very troubled that consumers who sign up for the plans are being misled about the nature of the plans. Blah, 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 blah. Rebecca Gordon, could you please answer? Comment on that? I'm not sure what the question Well, <clears throat> you know, I too have this written down. Are we selling junk? We are not selling junk. Are no. the carriers selling junk? I don't think all carriers are selling junk, no. This is the same old argument that's gone back to limited medical benefits in the 80s and the 90s, which really was one of the catalysts that sparked all of Obamacare because people were going down the internet and what did they search for? Cheap, cheap insurance. Cheap. cheap insurance. Do it. Go Google cheap insurance to see what comes up. And there was a woman, I believe, like in Georgia, who found a plan for, I'm going to say, $8 a month. And by God, unfortunately, she got cancer. Horrible. And guess what? The plan didn't pay because she did not buy insurance. Okay, well, so much for me going on the internet. She bought uh, a plan that had, like, dental and vision. She didn't... And, and so everybody's upset that she was misinformed. Sorry. So I that's, did, I where, to go on the internet. That, that's where I get on my soapbox a little bit. People will spend more time shopping their cell phone oh, right. than they will their insurance. I will spend more time on Amazon finding the right humidifier. humidifier than most people will for insurance. Are there some junk plans out there? I'm sure there are. There is carriers that call us every day it's that we pass. This is not talking about junk plans. This is not talking about. This is saying that category of insurance, short term, is junk. Short is term wrong. is not junk. Know short, what you buy. Short term, it serves a need. Is health insurance, and and it's not changed the parameters of health insurance. It doesn't cover pre-ex. They've never covered pre-ex. It's old-fashioned major medical. It's a deductible. It's underwritten. It's co-insurance. It's, you it's, get what you pay for. What they're mad about is that it's underwritten at time of claim. And that, as long as you know that, okay. But a lot of people could buy a short term because it's less expensive. And now there are no ACA penalties anymore. And think that they're getting a Mercedes, right? And it's not a Mercedes because when claims come in, they are underwritten. How much of this really is driven by the fact that people are more apt to go online to buy this? Like you said, they're just Googling cheap insurance and they're doing it without the skill and expertise of an agent. That's, that's where... And that's not our fault. That's not our fault. That is not our fault. That's like my aunt. Now, you know selling insurance. Which camera am I looking at? The one that says smile. Selling insurance to your family is the hardest insurance, right? Most people don't even insure their family because they can't deal with their family, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, my aunt, we're, we're at July 4th one time, Mary, and she's talking about Medicare, and she's like, yeah, you know what? And she started knocking AARP, and she said, you know, they don't cover anything. She goes, I have them for my Medicare supplement plan. I'm like, oh, really? You know, they're only the largest carrier <laughs> in the nation, <laughs> the biggest block of business, and Kinda the good. lowest rate increase in the history of Medicare kind of good I said it's a unique experience I said what plan did you buy all the while I'm irritated right that she didn't buy right. it for me and she goes oh I bought a plan a oh my gosh I was like interesting <laughs> I mean clearly she didn't work with an agent she whatever Google. went online Google Cheap. and a was $36 and so she's healthy Sold. she's healthy so why not uh, is yeah is that funny. hilarious she bought a yeah yeah and she wouldn't know if I could help her now that she's sick, 
and they're not covering. Unbelievable. Yeah. So that is the consumer That's wanting to the cut consumer. the. They want to cut the agent out, so they're buying short term, thinking it's major medical. That doesn't mean the plan is bad. Mm -mm. So I, I I hate the fact that Congress is saying it's junk, not junk. Ooh, I'm trying to be more dramatic. Mm. Hard to be harder to be dramatic than it used to be. Want to talk about our quote engine? Can I go to our website? Boom! Do you know how to do it? Boom! Okay. Um, our quote engine is open, so we have competitors all over the nation. You can go to CSG and buy this for $35 a month. Or you can use ours for free for a limited time, basically for a long, long time. If you like us, work with us. If you don't, whatever. But you can just go to our website, log in, and you can start using our quote engine. Um, some people have this quote engine from CSG, but they don't have the full. We have like the dental and vision, the final expense, the hospital indemnity, and the hospital indemnity is what I want to talk to you about right now. Just got Invisalign because my teeth are shifting, so it's a little hard for me to talk. So I did a, a sample quote here on Medicare Advantage for our zip code. So let me just pull up Humana and All Well and put them side by side in the quote. Those of you that are trying to sell hospital indemnity, the biggest mistake you're making is you try to do it after the sale. You sit down with your client and you go through, are they the basics of Medicare? Then you go through Medi Supplement and Med Advantage and then you decide, okay, we're going Med Advantage and then now we've broken it down to, we're looking at Humana and All Well. And we got them side by side here. I'm licensed, certified, and appointed with both carriers and now I got them side by side and I'm comparing them. When you're all done and they choose whichever carrier they're done, they're tired. You're tired. Now is not the time to talk about hospital indemnity. Hospital indemnity basically is like a gap filler for med advantage. Can't exactly say that, but that's what it does, right? The time to talk about hospital indemnity is right now before you go into the Humana benefits and the All Well benefits. And that's at the top of our quarter. You see red button says fill the gaps. Woo! I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Woo! Oh. Hit it again. Woo. You guys can't touch Woo. it at the same time. There you go. Not dry. Nope. Try one more and time. we're not going to do that. We're going to give up on that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hit fill the gaps at the top. I need my zip code right here, guys. 46060 again. And we have a lot of great hospital indemnity plans. Am I still on the camera? So right here, you'll. I'm going to do a 65 year old female non smoker. And I'm going to hit run quotes. And then it's going to show me all the different hospital indemnity plans. Which, depending on your state, there's quite a lot. Um, Medico, GTL, Equitable, Heartland, Continental Life. I mean, Aetna, everybody's got one now. So let me just pick one. I don't know which one I'm supposed to pick. Do Medico. Medico. Okay, I don't think that's the right one, but boom. Now what it's going to do is it's going to put it on your spreadsheet. And this is the secret sauce for the agents that sell the most hospital indemnity. They sell it together at the beginning. So right when you're going down the plan and you're talking about, if you go into the hospital, it's going to be 3400 maximum. If you're into the hospital at this plan, $4,500. So you want to talk about hospital indemnity because it's going to pay for in hospital. And, and this plan right here is going to cost you an extra $6.52. So you can, you can mess around with the benefit amount right here when you're talking about it. I want $2.50 a day. That's going to add $3.25. So now I'm up to $9. So for $9, I can get $2.50 a day, and this will show you that this is probably about $300 a day if you're in the hospital. So you're kind of talking about it in conjunction. Mm -hmm. So that, and nobody's going to be freaked out to pay ten dollars because these right. plans are both zero dollars. They might be freaked out though. Can I can I write on it now, guys? One more time. Hold on. Don't press it. Let me do it. Oh, go Ooh, ahead. Okay. Boom. Put that in the trash. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah. So you can't. You can't. I'm going to draw a smiley face and some beautiful hair. Since I can't do what I really want to do, but I do know how to erase it. Boom. I think you get my point, is that you're putting it on the spreadsheet from the very beginning, and you can print this off. One of the other things people don't understand about the quote software is they don't know how to go into, how do I get back up where I can use my software? Exit out of the bar. Boom. Now scroll. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Is that when you go into your comparisons, you go up here. I want to get out of here. 
and I want to go to cancel. Uh, I want to go to my dashboard. Can't seem to get out of there. Right, let's go back. But people don't know how to set up their quote software. Cancel. Clearly, we don't know how to set up ours either. For a future. Future, uh, future Wednesday wrap up. We'll that. That but you want to go into your dashboard and you want to go into your account and you want to put in your picture and oh, your okay. website, your, your phone number, and, and it, that will print on every quote. I have never met an agent yet that has it set up. So when you leave the house or you email them over, they have a quote with your name, cell phone, business, website, because otherwise they just have a yeah. generic quote. And any smart agent is going to come in there and go, oh, I can sell those plans too. Or they have all these papers from all the agents. They don't know that was you. So right there, you put your name in, your phone number. She doesn't have her agency. She does have a picture. She doesn't have her website. Boom, hit save. And when you go to print a quote, it's going to be on there. So God help me, I'll learn this eventually. But the, that little trick on how to quote hospital indemnity with your Medicare Advantage, guaranteed, will make you thousands of dollars a year because what I found is that if you talk to every single Medicare Advantage client about it, 50% buy it. If it makes sense. Other sales, and you can make another probably around $200 on each hospital indemnity plan. Of course, it depends on benefit and state, but most states then also have some type of renewal, 2 to 3%. So there's money to be made. Besides the money you make, which is nice, you're also helping the client hedge against the inflation on that out-of-pocket maximum which only goes up every year. Right. Only place I've ever seen it go stagnant or go down was California. But every place else, it's edging up. When we started in 2005, the out-of-pocket maximum was $2,000. That's awesome. Right now, we're looking at over $6,000. So that is a nice way to hedge against inflation. Now, if, inflation. if you don't have access, you just put it in the comments that you want us to approve you for this. It is free, like Sylvie said. Just put it... In the comments, hey, sign me up, and we approve them, and then they're in. Right. So, if you would like a, uh, come on, if you would like, I want one of these. A gift card. Uh, first of all, isn't there another better? Give me, grab me one of those magazines. Something better than this. I want to tell you some crazy stuff that's going on in insurance. So, this biologist, Jeanette Parker went down to the Florida Everglades National Park, which I will be next week, and she tried to pet a stray cat, and it bit her, and then, of course, she could potentially have rabies. Mm -hmm. So she had to go to the emergency room where they gave her the three requisite shots for rabies and charged her, drum roll, $48,000 for her rabies shots. So, yeah, that's a little bit crazy. Because uh, the immunoglobulin, that mm -hmm. they, it turns out that the shot costs on average three thousand dollars, and you have to get three. But everybody can charge what they want, mm -hmm. and that hospital charged her forty-eight thousand dollars. So we live in a very wacky time. Uh, I read that, and I, right? Like what I, I thought so, cut off your hand personally. Yeah. So, so if you would like to win this magazine, which is one of my favorite magazines because I raise chickens, if you would like to be a hobby chicken farmer, uh, please go into the comments. And tell me if you would ever pet a stray cat at a park. Of course. Would you not? I if have, it came yes. up to you, of I have. I, would I, pet a stray I cat. brought them home and yeah, and we we, oh we got one from a park that was crying. Yeah, I would do it too. But if you would, I'm, I'd say it's probably not a smart idea based especially on this. I'm not but touching if you would, a cat again. You put it in the comments and I will be happy to mail you this chicken magazine and it might put you on the path to raising backyard chickens, which is my passion. So that's out there. What else you got? I like to garden. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, she likes to garden. She got a huge rash last year. Looked like a third degree burn. Poison sumac. Yeah, oh my God. There is a new strand of poison sumac. And I met a, a guy at one of our meetings in Le uh, Louisville last week who he also uh, got poison sumac last year. Had to go to the hospital. I'm going to tell you what. I don't know anything more painful than poison sumac. I'm still, I'm still scarred. Oh my God! Yeah, she ha literally scarred, not emotionally scarred, scarred from the, scarred from the from the poison also. sumac. We do have some changes on some short term, even though we have all the heat coming down from Congress and their junk plans. If you guys are writing any national general 
National General is the old, basically the old assurance uh, company, Fortis, oh, and they were the largest writers of short-term medical in the country. Uh, but they have some new changes happening mid-March and for April, and where plans are now going to be 12 by 2s, 6 by 4s, Alabama, Wyoming, Indiana is getting a 3 by 4. You know, I find it also funny and interesting and exciting. Insurance companies are smart. They find the whole thing with Obamacare, they try to shut the door on what you can and can't do, and then the carrier sees just a little bit of light, and then they make a product, and it's really super cool. That's so it. if you're doing, dude. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm thinking about this. Dude. If you're writing National General, make sure that you're checking our website for the different states and new updates. Okay, so Greek Catholic Union, GCU, announced their med sub rate increases on plans. This is hilarious because they have not prescription, clearly, therefore I can't read and be cool at the same time. Another tragedy of old age. I can be cool. Uh, on their plans, AFG, which they sold mostly F and G, they, their plans went up February 1st, 9%. And like I said, I've been talking every week about the med sub rate increases in anticipation of macro in 2020, and we're seeing 8, 9, 10, 11, 12% rate increases. So get ahead of that, because your clients are gonna call you mad. Hopefully you've prepared them for that. Even though the carriers said, no, 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 no. That won't happen. It's happening. And the smaller the carrier, the more likely it's, it's going to happen with a bigger happening. rate increase. It's happening. That's all I have. They need Costa to be one of our sponsors so then we could get some more of these sunglasses. Oh, really? No doubt. That'd be super awesome. Well, hey, guys. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Thanks be for sure watching. to like, friend, hug, send, comment, engage. Don't pet stray cats. Really. Have a great day. Good selling.